Alright, what's going on guys? This is Maury, Fat, Dave, Mark from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Uh, today we've got a special beer we're going to be reviewing. This is from Hill Farmstead. This is their Society of Solitude number 6. Uh, I believe it's 8.1%, uh, double IPA, uh, right fresh from the brewery, uh, thanks to Mark here. Oh my. <laughs> That's, that's a bitter aroma, actually. That's all yeah, taken it's taken. Nice. Yeah, I appreciate the aroma on this yeah, one. Yeah, this... <laughs> but to me, I mean, it smells amazing. Yeah, yeah. There's some real amazing. It's definitely tropical, tropical fruit. fruit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, tropical it's fruit. Yeah. Pineapple. Yeah. Tropical yeah. fruit, tropical flowers. Yes. It's, tropical. Yeah. it's yeah. stranded on an island, probably. Yeah. It's the <laughs> bitterness <laughs> bit me at first, but yeah. then it's just this huge yeah. wave of tropical fruit. I agree, though. That you follows do, that. I yeah. do get some that bitter hot bitterness. Better. Yeah, I agree. So, yeah, I mean, pineapple, mango, orange, I'm getting it all in here. Yeah, you know, this is a, definitely a tropical beer. Mm -hmm. It's slightly cloudy, too. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, appearance, it's nice. Really and yellow, color. really. A little bit of orange in there, too. I don't know if I can reach you by the fourth. There you go. <laughs> cheers, cheers. cheers. Oh, yeah. This is my kind of IPA here because it has all the tropical flavor, yeah. flavors, but it has the bitterness yes. to back it up. And just like the nose, I found that the bitterness kind of nipped me right up front, yeah. and then I got a huge wave of, mm -hmm. of the tropical fruits. And they hang around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, one sip, my mouth is still coated. Right. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Good job. It is like a, on this one. It isn't like a yeah. sticky sweet coating either. Yeah. It's just, just lingering bitterness. Yeah. yeah. A little little bit of a malt. <laughs> yeah. Backbone. A little sweetness, yeah, yeah. I like that. That's personally something I love in mm -hmm. a good double IPA is that you know, like malty sweetness backing up all the hops. Yeah. You know? It's interesting. There's a little more floral character to the taste than there yeah. is on the nose. There is. Like, it's a little more of a balance between the fruits and the floral on the taste. And for as much uh, flavor and the, the, the bitterness and the, the sweetness to it, it's kind of a medium to, to light body. Yeah. yeah I, I think this is crisp and refreshing. It is. Like, this would make for a good summer IPA. Yeah. I mean, I love it. You know, it's not short on flavor. Uh, you know, the bitterness, the tropical fruits, but yet it's real crisp. Yeah, it is. Real right. nice. Yeah. The summer on IPA at 8.1%. Yeah, well, I'm trying to yeah. sure. Yeah. That's right on target for what I want, though, you know? Yeah. Well, the num this is the number six. I guess they use the uh, uh, the mosaic hop. Oh, yeah, yeah that's right. I did hear that. use that hop. And, no uh, kidding. It's from northwest somewhere in Seattle, mm -hmm. you know, Washington yeah. State or something. It's a newer hop. All right, I'm going to go 4.5 on this one easy. Um, you know, I was teetering between that and the 4.75. I mean, this is, it's light, it's crisp, has a good amount of bitterness, lots of, plenty of tropical fruit, uh, just a just a hair of a malt backbone to back everything up. I think it's awesome. I'm going 4.5. Um, I enjoy this beer. This is a good beer. It's... I like the, the mix of the of the tropical fruit and floral taste, uh, which is, like I said, you get a little more floral on the taste than you did on the nose, which is almost all tropical fruit. Um, I would kind of like a little more malt presence in it. It's kind of thin on the malts, but the hop flavors are amazing. I love them. Uh, I'll give this beer a four and a quarter out of five. Yeah, I'm going to agree with what Pat said about the beer, but I'm going to go a four and a half. Um, I would put it at 475 if it did have a little more malty sweetness, a little more malt balance on there. But as far as the hop profile goes, uh, you know, that lingering bitterness and that huge, huge tropical flavor and aroma. Um, yeah, I'm going to go four and a half on that. Yeah, I'm going four and a half. Um, pretty much, it's kind of tough with four people being on the end to try to come up with something new, but it's, you know, everything, you know, everything they said, you know, just a touch more malt backbone to it, you know, a little bit more balance. Delicious. I mean, it just everything is good about this beer. 
Oh, 8.1 percent. I don't believe it. Yeah, <laughs> no, right. yeah. We'll find it. It's, this is highly drinkable. You could really get in trouble drinkable. with this. Absolutely. So yeah, yeah, definitely 4.5. This is a really good beer. Till next time. Cheers. Cheers.